The OpenStack QA project is a cross-project team that's responsible for code quality and testing. I had an opportunity to speak with two members of the QA team at the recent OpenStack project teams gathering in Dublin. Thanks for making time for this. Yeah, Let's start with introductions. If you uh, tell us who you are and what your responsibilities are on the, on the QA project. Yeah, my name is Ghansiamban. I work in NEC Japan from Tokyo. So I started OpenStack in 2012 and uh, doing the upstream in 2014. I mainly work in QA, that's in part of the NOAA, and I'm a QPTL now. Yeah, my name is Andrea Frittoli. I work for IBM as a developer advocate. I've been around OpenStack since about 2011. And the past two cycles have been the PPL QA project. So I'm mostly involved in a QA, QA project, some infra stuff. So what, what's the relationship between Zool and the QA project? Zool is a, a CI system which orchestrates the execution of jobs and the QA job, the QA team uh, provides a lot of the tools uh, that allow people to define uh, those jobs or run tests. So it's a very, uh, it's very tightly coupled. Uh, so there is a separation, but we often kind of help each other work together. Like here at the PTG and also in the past PTG, we have always infra QA help room where people can come and ask questions about QA or infra. And it's good to have both teams there because often a question starts on one side and ends up on the other side. So, so during the, the Queen's cycle, uh, what have you all been up to? What have you accomplished during that time? We, as a QA, we're, um, say, horizontal team. So we work across projects. So kind of the main priority is always serving the community and our users. And more specifically during the Queen cycle, this was um, reflected in the work we did um, on uh, creating stable interfaces. So we have several projects that expose APIs that are used uh, by projects to create their own tests and uh, deploy cloud test tech and so forth. So we make sure that those interfaces are stable so that people can rely on them. Um, also, uh, there was a community goal uh, during the Queen cycle about uh, Tempest plugins. So there was a lot of work involved in there and we helped out different projects and making sure that they could implement and match the goal by the end of the cycle. And also also as part of um, I guess helping out, um, we started um, creating what we call base job now. It's will be free. There is a mechanism where you can have canary tons between test jobs. So we create test uh, Based jobs for Testec and Tempest. We started this work so that everyone can use them as a base for creating their own jobs. And I guess one another thing that we focused on, um, which is also good for users, is well, bug triage. So it's important to stay on top of our bugs because people, even people that does not contribute to OpenStack uh, or to a project on a regular basis they may use our tools and file box, so it's good to stay on top of them. So this week you're in the process of handing off the, the PTL position. What do you see coming as your main workload in the, in the Rocky cycle? Yeah, we have a couple of like priority things to do finish in Rocky things. First stage as the Zool V3 jobs. Uh, like Andrea mentioned, we have started doing the base job definition in the QA project like in DevStack and Tempest so that other projects can use it. So we continue that work and uh, we try to finish all the job migration, base jobs on QA side. And second thing is uh, currently Tempest test, lot of API version for every project, lot of projects like for Cinder, we do have a test for V1 API, V2 API, and V3 API. But V1, V2 API is deprecated. V3 is the current one. So it's a similar case for Glance and Keystone. And our focus will be testing the latest current version of that APIs 
successfully and whatever APIs are replicated, we can remove those test case if project agrees that. So we make sure QA is completely testing the current stable version of API supported by the project. And next thing is like uh, in interop program, so they are doing like adds on program for heat and designate. So we discuss how QA can help the QA tools and process can help them to set up the things. And uh, next thing is like uh, we have the micro version mechanism in API in OpenStack. I think a lot of projects have like NOAA, I don't and all. So we do have micro version testing in Tempest, but uh, we still need to optimize it more. And we still need to see how maximum coverage of micro version we can test. Because testing every micro version is not possible now. But let's see how maximum we can try and we can make sure every micro version is like having some coverage in Tempest. And apart from that, uh, uh, as Andrea said, we completed the Tempest plugin split from every project. So we do have the stable interfaces in Tempest now, and there are a lot of work we need to do on the Tempest plugin side, like the best practice, what interface they should use, all these things we have to do. So we'll be, as a QA team, we'll be open to help Tempest plugin things to suggest them these are the things, these are the best practices you should do. This is how you should set up the Tempest plugin in Zoop. This is how you should write your Tempest test. Like this. And last but not the least, uh, the bug price. So that really helped in uh, Queen Cycle. So whenever any bug is there on Queen side, we try to respond to them quickly and try to fix all the high priority and critical bugs. So that stays same in Rocky Cycle. So every week we will be like having the office hour and keep doing the price there. I presume that, that you all track things like code coverage and and uh, percentage of tests passing, that sort of thing across the years. What's your impression of overall OpenStack quality over the last few years? Like Tempest has a API test plus integration testing also and in terms of API backward compatibility, OpenStack has been doing really good. I don't remember anything, any project of the API compatibility and means that really working good. In terms of uh, like integration test and how the integrated feature works, that's quite good till now, but uh, it's not like everything, all the integrated features like with Noah, Cinder or Newton, everything is like working perfectly. There are still things going on to make that studies. So new, <coughs> new projects come along and they have to build their coverage. Yeah. Um, the good news for them is that they come at the stage where we have quite sophisticated tooling for them available to build the test coverage. So it's they are in a better position now to quickly build their their test and the initial project when we're building everything together the QA tool and, and open stack project themselves. So I've been told by some of the projects that they have a, a requirement that code always comes with tests. Is that universal across OpenStack or is that per project? It's uh, per project. For example, in case of NOAA, whenever we are doing any uh, micro version, whenever we do any API changes, so the recommendation is go and put the Tempest test there and we will reference of the Tempest test in the NOAA feature patch so that we know, okay, this functionality is working, and then we merge it. But it's like per project. It's not a mandatory thing from yeah. QA side or project side. But I think unit test is unit testing uh, is is done by everyone mostly. Yeah. But integration testing is more complex, requires more sophisticated setup. So it's it's not the same for every project. But we try to like propose it as the best practice always. Yeah, or even like not together with the core, but at least we, we make sure that within that cycle, we should have something, some integration test or something. If somebody wants to contribute to the, to the QA process, is it better to do it at within the QA project or on the individual sub-project? Um, I think there's a lot of need for both. Okay. So, 
a lot of the project they have small teams and a lot of features they want to bring on and sometimes they have to cut on integration testing or they don't have enough resources to keep up but they would really like to um, so I'm and I've seen in several projects like some some person they become kind of owner or license or QA um, but not everyone has enough of that and also from our side um, yeah it's always good to, to have more people I think out there the tools the more people we have the more the best the service we can give to the community yeah, yeah so like uh, yes, we have the ones in first contact SIG and we have the like user person from QA and all there. Yeah. But what we can be planning to do in Rocky is we have a certain set of low, low hanging features or simple features for QA and we ask people, okay, if you want to contribute, then come help us. These are the like starting features, simple features, not complex, and we engage them in our like weekly meeting and really. Yeah, we really welcome any time of contribution. It doesn't have to be like a full time commitment to say, okay, well, now I'm going to give my life to the QA project. Anytime, even someone who's using uh, the tools or finds some issue or want to contribute back, uh, even just reporting back to the contribution is very welcome. Yeah. So, any time of contribution is really welcome. It's uh, like not full time. So, each project, like uh, if they implement the feature, so if they they can contribute the integration test also in Tempest side or like Grenade or other project, QA projects. Then it's like good. Even they just contribute five or six patches or five, six test case in a cycle, but it's still really helpful for us. Now I know you uh, are on the OpenStack dev mailing list. Do you, do you also have a, an IRC channel dedicated to yeah. your project? We do have an IRC channel uh, OpenStack desk QA. We, I think, cover all the time zone. I'm in UTC plus nine in Tokyo. I'm in UTC. So, yeah. And so we have few in the US time zone also. Time zone. So we go almost all and we do have a weekly meeting and office hours. All the information is there on the OpenStack wiki page. Thank you very much for your time and good yeah. luck in your discussions this week. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good luck with your with your new PTL position. Yeah, thank you.